Et salut à tous et à toutes, c'est Cyber et aujourd'hui on se retrouve pour la deuxième partie de Life is Strange Before the Storm pour l'épisode 2. J'ai vraiment hâte de commencer, je peux, je peux pas m'arrêter, j'ai besoin de continuer. Donc on va commencer tout de suite l'épisode 2, Splendide Nouveau Monde. C'est parti Previously on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know if Rachel is a gamer? How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe, if one day I'm just out of here. Let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. <coughs> And that woman is definitely not my mom. Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. One of you here is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. is violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was brokered. Do you recall what that was? Ok. Donc on commence enfin. C'est à nous de faire nos choix. C'est dingue à quel point le directeur est toujours là au mauvais moment. Il, s... Il est tout le temps là pour nous faire suer, hein, très clairement. Donc... Euh... Au dernier épisode, on avait foutu le feu. Bah, Rachel avait foutu le feu. Euh, donc là, il me demande d'arrêter de m'attirer des ennuis, ne rien dire, c'est rhétorique. Je vais ne rien dire. No. Let me refresh your memory. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I was! I stood up for that little weirdo. Then how do you explain the desecration of Mr. Prescott's photography project? I didn't say I was successful. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know, the guy who actually did what you're accusing me of. Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. 
Rassurer Joyce, calmer Wells. Euh, je vais rassurer Joyce. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am sorry you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds without permission. What does that mean? It means... You forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to... I made her do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. But I wouldn't listen. See... Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me, but only to keep me safe. I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe, that you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Euh, donc, si je comprends bien, moi je suis déjà foutu parce que de toute façon j'ai fait pas mal de bêtises et puis j'ai séché pas mal de fois. Mais Rachel est une élève exemplaire. Mais je vais quand même euh, lui pardonner. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price. Bon, je suis déjà foutu. Donc la question c'est est-ce que j'emmène Rachel avec moi ou est-ce que j'essaye de la protéger euh, Je crois que je vais essayer de la protéger parce que de toute façon pour moi c'est déjà trop tard. Donc autant faire une bonne action parmi mon malheur. Complete and total bullshit. Chloe. You're an awesome actor, Rachel. You almost convinced me and I know you're lying. But come on. Miss Price, Miss Amber, one of you girls better start telling me what actually happened, now. It's fine. Really. You're right. The truth is, I didn't convince Chloe to ditch with me. I practically forced her to. <laughs> Come on. I was feeling angsty and reckless. Tired of living up to the perfect image everybody expects out of me. I told Chloe if she didn't come with me, I might do something crazy. Like what? Graffiti, steal alcohol, maybe even abuse marijuana. I didn't, thank God. But that's only because Chloe was there. She looked out for me, even after I threatened her. I told her I would blame her for everything if she didn't come along. I knew it would be easy. Given all of the prejudices against her. Uh, now... This is some serious... Chloe, I told her. If you get blamed for this, you will be in serious trouble. Serious trouble. Whereas I, having a perfect record at Blackwell, will not. Think about it, I told her. And don't do anything you'll regret. Anyway, that's what really happened. Oh, Rachel. <coughs> I'm glad we have finally gotten to the bottom of this matter. Though the revelation brings me no pleasure. Miss Amber, I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. Still, we will not be suspending you at this time. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. And you will no longer be involved in Blackwell's performance of The Tempest. No. Bon. Euh, je m'attendais pas trop à ça. Je pensais que j'allais moi raconter une autre bêtise. 
une autre connerie qui serait pas la, la vérité. Mais au final, elle a vraiment tout dit. Donc, euh, bah, j'ai peut-être pas fait le meilleur choix. Parce que, du coup, elle en a pris aussi. Euh, donc, euh, je vais insulter Wells. What? Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. There's a reason we have understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. Bien évidemment. That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Alors, euh, suivre Rachel, endosser. Ah, j'ai peut-être une chance d'endosser la responsabilité. De toute façon, je suis déjà foutu. Donc, autant. Autant faire quelque chose qui peut, qui peut permettre à Rachel de faire sa représentation. Donc je vais endosser la responsabilité. Je vais me concentrer. Ok. Défi insolence. J'ai intérêt à bien écouter. Chloe, Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Admit la réalité. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Faut être traité de menteuse. Vous diriez, devriez well, avouer. You should confess to falling for her crap. I don't blame you though. She's one hell of an actress. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Ça va aller, ça va aller. Hop. How about you don't take credit for my shit? You don't see me claiming I did my homework, do you? Because that's your stupid thing. Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Excusez, excusez. Up. Fine. I'm sorry for bullying Nathan. But if you yes. had to look at that smug face as often as I do. I've heard enough. Rachel, you were clearly trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not be removed from the play. Voilà. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year, with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. That is all. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. Ray. Come on, Chloe. Voilà, déjà ça c'est fait. De toute façon, j'étais forcément exclu le reste de l'année, donc euh, ça aurait rien changé. I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later. You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm... I'll see you in the parking lot. 
Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk you out. Just you and me, eh, Skip? You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Ok. Euh... Je vais juste regarder. Dad got Bongo from the rescue shelter. Then he got run over by a car. Moral of the story, no one's ever really rescued. Donc oui, pour en revenir un peu avec mon choix, c'est-à-dire que je savais que forcément j'allais être exclu et je voulais éviter à Rachel de ne pas faire sa pièce parce que je sais que plus tard, ça va me permettre de me rapprocher d'elle vu que je sais où on veut en venir euh, par la suite. En tout cas, je sais où moi je veux en venir. Mais euh, du coup, je savais que j'allais me faire exclure. Donc que je sois exclu pour l'année ou renvoyé totalement, ça va pas changer l'histoire de grand chose. Mais au moins, on a pu réussir à protéger Rachel pour qu'elle puisse faire sa pièce. Donc c'est déjà assez important. Ensuite, je vais signer. Et revenir sur la suite des aventures. Voilà. Regardez. J'avais des grands plans pour ajouter à ce collage. Oh, well. Regardez. Having Justin as my locker neighbor was one of the few not shitty things about this place. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Ça je vais regarder et après je jetterai. Every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Oui ben bah, logique. Hop, on va jeter. Voilà, il nous reste le livre à prendre. Hop, on le prend. À la poubelle. Donc c'est pas le prendre pour moi ça. Ça, on jette. On jette l'anglais. Pourtant, j'en aurais bien besoin. Absolutely, positively, the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. Ok, on jette. Est-ce que je prends finalement Je vais peut-être prendre. Même si ça, ça donne pas que des bons souvenirs, je vais peut-être le garder quand même. Et on récupère. Jackpot. Wait. What the hell? Quelqu'un nous l'a piqué avant. Justin. Comme quoi, j'ai besoin du livre d'anglais. Euh, salut, j'ai du temps de printer ta réserve. C'était une urgence. Ok, je te rembourserai la semaine prochaine. <rire> bah, il n'y a pas de semaine prochaine, par contre. Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> Ok, mais try de faire it fast, will you? Ah, je vais aller taguer dans les toilettes. Génial. On se souvient des toilettes. Sit down. 
Later, Skip. Later. Looks like David's here. Awesome. J'ai adoré la réaction à la fin. Another letter to Max. That I'll never send. At least Journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. J'ai plein de messages. Fuyez être vigilant sur le chemin du campus en rentrant. Corps professionnel ainsi que le personnel ont reçu pour consigne d'ignorer les retards. Ok. Pardon. Je voulais faire retour. Hop. Alerte système. Temps d'information. Incendie. Surveillance. Ok. 2010. Incendie actif de classe D, non contenu, soyez prudent. Ouais, bah ça c'est le bazar qu'on a foutu. Quand tu rentres à la maison, au moins Chloé, seras-tu rentré pour le couvre-feu Ça aura des répercussions sans connaître, moi aussi. Je t'aime, je crois qu'on en était là. Le lycée a appelé, je crois que tu sais pourquoi. Un rendez-vous demain, j'ai besoin que tu fasses des efforts, Chloé, Chloé. Chloé, je m'inquiète, dis-moi au moins si tout va bien. Tu es au courant pour l'incendie. Chloé répond, je vais bien, Dieu merci. Encore Chloé, vraiment. Va continuer à faire ça. Je fais de mon mieux, oui, mais c'est pas toi le problème. J'ai juste envie. T'as eu le texto de Wells pour l'incendie. Tu vas bien Toi Ouais, toi. Je suis dans ma chambre. Et après la tempête, ça te dirait de sortir bah non. Et donc Rachel. Où est-ce que ça commence Est-ce qu'on avait déjà une discussion avec Rachel Je ne crois pas. J'ai réussi à rentrer en évitant mes deux parents. Bien joué. T'es une espionne née. Saute de train. En marche. On fait une super équipe. Aucune paire de jumelles ennemies ne pourrait te résister. On a passé une journée inoubliable. Tu sais ce qui ne craint pas Quoi, toi Toi non plus, tu crains pas, je sais. On ferait mieux de dormir. On a Wells demain matin. Ouais, c'est de ma faute, ça valait le coup. Wells craint, c'était carrément la merde, cette réunion. C'est carrément chelou, c'est toi. C'est pas grave, sérieusement. Ça en valait la peine. Donc on va pouvoir avancer. I guess this fire is no joke. Still can't believe Rachel started it. Et pourtant, il y a encore des phénomènes paranormaux autour de autour de Chloé. No more extracurricular activities. No more curricular activities either. C'est vraiment elle le personnage central. But whenever I needed to bomb one. Tous les gens qui sont proches d'elle, autour d'elle, ont des comportements assez bizarres. Euh... Je vais lui parler. Hey, Elliot. What brings Chloe Price to school on a Saturday morning? Nothing good, I bet. I was expelled. Wait, really? Holy shit! I know. I'm surprised it took this long too. Do you want a hug? Hmm. Je vais l'envoyer balader, je vais dire non merci. Let's not make a big deal out of this. Oh, sorry. Right. Yeah. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, 
What are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said we might see it together. Ah, oh, right. Good call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? Oui. Euh, louper le spectacle Non, parce que Rachel y joue, donc j'ai envie de venir. Désolé, non. Euh, ça l'en verrait tout de suite. Je vais peut-être le laisser euh, attendre. Ouais, peut-être. Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but maybe. Cool, cool. Uh, sounds sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Je vais pas l'envoyer tout de suite balader parce que je le je le connais pas vraiment, mais je vais pas non plus euh, me jeter dans ses bras parce que c'est pas mon but. Someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumper stickers. C'est pas mon but. Bon. Cinématique où je vais me faire engueuler, je suppose, bientôt. Je suppose qu'on va me faire la remarque. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. On peut faire ça plus tard, je m'en fous. Euh, on peut faire ça plus tard. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. C'est ma mère, sinon quoi? Sinon quoi? Or what, David? What will you do? You do not want to test me. Maybe if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? Like how to have no job? Or how to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? What kind of opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? Y'a rien de mal à ça. Quelqu'un avait besoin de mon aide. Euh, y'a rien de mal à ça. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Bah oui, bien sûr. Y'a pas de souci. Sure. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Mom. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Mom. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe, and I'm sorry. But David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. Okay. J'ai envie de taguer sa voiture. Obtempérer ou refuser Bah je vais obtempérer, hein. j'ai pas trop le choix. De toute façon, je vais quand même continuer à consommer euh, 
en dehors des clous, hein, quand je serai avec Rachel, etc. Donc autant le faire. De toute façon, il me semble que j'en ai pas sur moi du coup. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? Toi, oui, mais pas lui. Oui, bah oui, je te pardonne. I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. I just worry about you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage her. That's enough out of you, David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? Qui va ménager? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. No fucking way! Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Ça à moi de choisir. Je sais que j'ai tout foiré. Tu fais de ton mieux, je le sais. Je sais que j'ai tout foiré. Euh... Alors. Si je dis tu fais de ton mieux, je le sais, ça va la réconforter. Si je sais que j'ai tout foiré, ça va plutôt peut-être me permettre de m'apitoyer sur mon sort, entre guillemets. Donc euh, je vais plutôt dire tu fais de ton mieux, je le sais. You're trying. I get it. I, I swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million bon, bon, years, trop, je I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, you'll see what a stable home can be like. There is no home. Not if he's there. Chloe. Let her go. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. How do you know which way is up when your whole life has been turned upside down? Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? Sur ce, c'est ici que va s'arrêter la première partie de l'épisode 2 de Life is Strange. 
Before the Storm. Ça me fait extrêmement plaisir de poursuivre l'aventure et de vous la partager. On va s'arrêter là pour cette fois-ci. On se retrouve pour la suite des aventures au prochain épisode. C'était Cyber. Je vous dis salut à tous et à la prochaine. A plus tout le monde.